he did um, apprentice as a tailor and he became a qualified and professional tailor. So he did that as sort of a support to the art and, uh, and so on. He continued and then he got an opportunity, I think it was around 52 or so, to, um, to go to teach um, at Common Mirror School to teach art. It was Major Cecil Newt was the headmaster at the time. Um, and um, Frank Collymore, you know Frank Collymore, Frank Collymore Hall and so on. And uh, my father also did a very beautiful bus of Frank Collymore and that's in the lobby of the um, Central Bank. The Grand Style, not the Grand Style, what's it called? The, the, um, perform the con concert hall, concert hall, yeah. And um, anyhow, but he, Frank Collymore, did the art at Common Mare School during that period. And Major Newt wanted someone to be dedicated to the art, uh, teaching of art. And through Dr. George Lamy, um, who was a friend of my, of my father, um, Daddy got an opportunity to meet uh, Major Newt, went there, and he was employed there to teach art at Common Mare School. In the 50s, early 50s, he did go to England to do a course at Goldsmiths College in South London and um, for a couple of years and then came back and continued his work at Common Mare. Um, he liked people, he did a lot, you noticed that a lot of his work is of portraits and, and so on. And not a lot of figurative stuff in it, in a lot of times the, the gray figure in this photograph was a piece that he did at Goldsmiths College. And the other two, the slave, that's the maquette or the scale model for the big one that you, you now see at the roundabout. And that was done, um, that's in bronze and, and, and that is in bronze as well. But most of the stuff you would notice was bust. And I think the explanation for that was that it gave him, he could do that quickly. So he could cover a lot of territory sort of thing, get to do a lot of people. And um, he did, there were some men, but he liked women and he did a lot of females and sort of paid tribute in a way to their beauty and black beauty, you know, because um, I don't know if there was much of an appreciation during that period for the, the beauty that was black or black that was beauty. And that he, uh, he saw that and he tried to capture that in a lot of his, uh, the work that he did. And uh, as you could see from some of the, the portraits here, um, you would see how the beauty of the women that, that, that he has done. He also, uh, here's my Sammy, and this is a, in a costume, I think it was a Domin um, Dominic, I think. And um, so the elegance of, of that. So in a way, he was documenting a part of Barbados as he developed his art. I, was, I grew up in the household and seeing art. Went to school at Common Mare, was taught art by him. My brother Michael and my sister Tranquiline, who was the late, because she, she's no longer with us. Um, they also did some painting and carving, in, in the case of Michael, and, and a bit of sculpture, modeling, and so as well. But they did not continue to the extent that I did. I continued painting. 